So this is part of our in-house fabrications for formal wear, uh, tuxedos and dinner jackets. In this particular book, I'm going to show you uh, how to put together a really awesome dinner jacket outfit for your next black tie formal event. So a dinner jacket is nothing more than having the base cloth of the jacket different than the formal pant itself. For example, the very first swatch you're going to see is a bubblegum pink. So what would that look like as a dinner jacket? Well, here you see I had this stencil made. And it's really cool because this way you could really visualize and see for yourself what a bubblegum pink dinner jacket would be. It'd be great, actually. But here you see uh, the lapel, which is a shawl lapel in this particular stencil, but you can do it in a peak lapel as well. The lapels themselves usually will have a contrasting fabric done in satin or in grosgrain. The pant can be and usually is a black formal pant. However, look what I do here when I, with the stencil just to give you an idea of visually what it would look like with a gray formal pant. So it does not have to be black. It could be gray as well. And this really helps you show um, what that looks like made up. Now, I'll give you an example of some other awesome dinner jackets uh, just in this one particular book because it really is a great book to highlight some of the other really cool colors that you could do in a formal dinner jacket. For example, this is the pale blue. And so the pale blue is really fantastic. I like this with black formal pants or gray uh, or even a very dark uh, midnight navy as well. This is the style number for the uh, pale blue. And then I'm going to go back to the bubblegum pink because I forgot to show it to you. But here's the style number for the bubblegum pink as well. And then the next one, so you have pink and you got blue is this brighter blue. And so because it is like a cobalt blue, uh, this would be really smart also with either a very light gray formal pant, as you'll see here. It's kind of a nautical theme almost, or just a few shades down, as you'll see here, when I go to like a dark uh, charcoal. And so either way, it's going to be great, but cobalt blue itself is another great option for a dinner jacket. I'll show you the style number for this one, too. And then next, you're going to see is this pine green. So pine green, I always think of like complementary colors to green. So when you think of a green like this or a shade of green, I always think of like sometimes the NFL football colors. So think of like, for example, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, like that green they have in the helmet. And then what's the complementary color to that? Again, would be gray. And so gray would be a nice option as a dinner jacket or perhaps uh, just another shade down of gray too. And so pine green, another great option for a dinner jacket. And it really looks smart with the contrasting lapels uh, as well. Now, a color uh, like white. White does have a season to wear. Uh, white you wear pretty much... Uh, uh, Memorial Day to Labor Day is kind of like that window that's appropriate to wear, cruise wear, things like that. Of course, we're Miami-based. It depends a little bit on your weather and your climate, uh, but with a white dinner jacket, um, the lapels themselves can be trimmed in black or they do not. They could be all white as well in the same material or even have white satin, depending on how much of a contrast you like on the fabric. But a white dinner jacket, the one rule of it, I will tell you, and from making several of these and also making mistakes on these, is the lining on the inside should either be no lining or just a plain white lining because you pretty much can see through the fabric. And so that's one um, little trick of the trade uh, to tell you about it too before you make the same mistake if you custom make one somewhere else. Now, a gray, uh, this is a jacquard print. So jacquard just has a print within a print. And you can see how, as I move it, the beauty of the fabrication itself. And this is a really dynamic uh, dinner jacket uh, for sure. The thing with gray is it's neutral. Literally, it looks great on any skin tone. This would be very nice uh, with a very dark, dressy uh, black, for example, in a formal uh, dress pant. And so because you have texture or the jacquard print up front, the black really is a nice contrast to it for the dinner jacket. And this, if you don't want to, um, you know, if you want to have a dinner jacket that people notice when you see maybe in low light situations, like four or five feet away, this would be a great option. Um, but it might blend in from across the ballroom, for example. So it depends. So, you know, sometimes you want to have a look that's really out there and uh, outstanding. Uh, and you could see from, a, you know, a little while away. And then sometimes you don't, but that's a great tasty way to do so. One of my favorites is the last one I'll show you, and that's just the camouflage. And so they did this in a royal blue, and you see the camo print itself. This is just a really smart, fun way uh, to do a dinner jacket, and it's dynamite with black formal pants as well. Here's the style number for the, uh, the camo. But these, again, are all distinctive, really beautiful, elegant ways to uh, enhance your uh, formal wear uh, through uh, Jackson Maximus as part of our in-house collection.